you name it, the chemicals that we have in this plant. There are a lot of dangerous chemicals. And these replacement workers, I seriously doubt, are properly trained to be handling them. The school is up and back of the hill here. If something does happen here in this plant, a major, a major catastrophe, it will be a catastrophe. They're bringing in replacement workers who are not qualified, they're not certified, they're not trained to handle a potential hazardous uh, material issue within these buildings. And if something like that happens, they're not going to be able to mitigate it. It takes years for people to learn how to handle these properly. There's some, if you get them on you, you're going to die. Started back in that building back in June of this year, and I'm still training on the kettle systems. If you happen to make a mistake, it could be something catastrophic. The other day we had a spill coming off the roof here that we noticed and thank God the wind was blowing away from us because you can get silicosis from it. If you get somebody who overpressures a kettle, it's going to blow out the top. Most of the time it's with new people or people who are not familiar with the process. There isn't an awful lot you can do is get, stay alert. I mean, if it's daytime and you see a cloud coming, head the other direction. Get out of the area, protect yourselves. Don't, don't think that uh, it's innocuous because they really haven't got the experts here and they need to handle a situation.